All right, we're going to look now at how we can convert between uh, various ways of measuring angles here, between degrees and radians, both different ways that we express things in radians, either as approximate decimal values and as uh, exact values in terms of pi, right? Things like pi over 3, 2 pi over 3, 5 pi over 6, that kind of stuff. Or values like approximately 2.27 radians, how we can convert between all of that. All right, so let's go to this. We're going to start by trying to look at and compare and try, uh, trying to convert between an angle in degrees and a, just an approximate value in terms of radians. So again, this circle's marked off in radians, one radian, two radians, not one pi or two pi or anything like that, just values not involving pi. So let's just pick a number here somewhere. Maybe we'll... Uh, Stop right about there. Somewhere there. It doesn't matter. That's that's good enough. We're going to try and convert. We'll see how we can convert between those two things. All right. So let's just grab a picture of this. Go down below here. Make some space. See if this works. There we are. Now this... That thing is uh, set to 128.38 degrees, and that's approximately 2.24 radians. How are those equivalent? Well, the key that you need to know is that 180 degrees is equal to pi radians. Half a turn is pi radians. We've seen why that is before, but this is the key that we're going to use to convert. Just like any other conversion factor that you may know. You may know that one mile is approximately 1.6 kilometers. Well, if you know that conversion factor, you can use it to change between miles and kilometers. If you know this conversion factor, you can convert between these two things. We're going to use what's called unit analysis. I'm going to start here. We're going to go degrees to radians. So if I start with my 128.38 degrees, unit analysis is where you can multiply by a fraction that is equal to 1. If I was to multiply this by, if I was to multiply this by 1, right? Multiplying by 1 doesn't matter. It doesn't change it. So I'm going to multiply by a fraction that's equal to 1. I'm going to multiply by pi radians on top and 180 degrees on the bottom. Now again, this whole fraction is equal to 1, but what it's going to do is it's going to allow me to change from radians, from degrees to radians. I have degrees on the top here, and degrees on the bottom. All right? It's it's almost like those are canceling out. You don't have to do this, but you can think the degrees are gone and I'm going to be left with radians here. All right, and then you just have to multiply all these things in your calculator and see what you get. All right, that times pi divided by 180. So let's grab the calculator here and see what we get. Move it over here. No, I do not want to update that right now, but thanks for asking anyways. All right, so we got 128. 0.38 times pi and then divide by 180. Okay, so that gets me that value that I have 2.24 point, you know, all the rest of it there. All right, approximately 2.24. Alright, so all we did is we multiplied by pi over 180. So if we're putting a, let's put a note here for ourselves. We're going to change degrees to radians. What we're going to do is we are going to multiply by pi over 180. Now I'll go the other way here. You can maybe think of what you're going to do. Radians to degrees. Let's get a different angle to work with here. So let's go back and grab a different angle. And 
here. Now let's uh, swing it around here so that it's more than pi. Let's go somewhere in between here. How about how about there? I guess again doesn't matter. How about that? All right. Now this thing is rounding it off here. This is not going to be exactly 247 degrees, but it's close enough. So let's grab a picture of that. There we go. Now, let's try and see if we can make these things agree here and change one to the other. So radians to degrees here. If we start with the radians, 4.31 radians approximately. Well, to get rid of this now, we're going to use a unit analysis, but we're going to do it in reverse. If I want to get rid of these radians, I'm going to put radians on the bottom here, and I'm going to put degrees on the top. So I have pi radians is 180 degrees. If I multiply that now, radians on top, radians is going to cancel with radians on the bottom, and I'm going to be left with whatever 4.31 times 180 divided by pi is. Get the calculator back here, and we'll see. Move it over here this time. 4.31 times 180, except I missed the 1, 180 divided by pi. 4.31 times 180 divided by pi, 246.94. Let's see what we had there. Well, it rounded it up to it rounded it up to 247. I would I would have rounded it to 246.9, but for some reason it's written it as 247, but that's neither here nor there. All right, so we have this is approximately 246.94, whatever we had, degrees. All right. The important thing there to realize is if we're going radians to degrees, we are going to do the sort of the opposite of what we did up there. We we're going to multiply by multiply by 180 over pi. All right, 180 over pi, 180 degrees over pi radians or pi radians over 180 degrees, you're multiplying by 1. You're not changing anything. Both of those are represent 1, those two fractions. All right? That's how to convert between radians and degrees when you're talking about decimal approximate values. We're going to look now at how do we write them in terms of pi fractions if that's what we want to do. All right, so what we're talking about here is, go back to our picture here again now, this picture. If we want to write some of these angles, sometimes we, we want to write them as, uh, as these exact values here, right? We want to write 30 degrees as pi over 6 or, uh, you know, 135 degrees as 3 pi over 4 or 240 degrees is 4 pi over 3, etc., etc. How can you do that quickly? Now, these ones you might happen to know, right? You might happen to know that these are certain angles, but what about, uh, what about 105 degrees? What would that represent? Or what would, uh, what would, you know, what would 175 represent or 164 or anything like that, all right? That's what we'll look at right now. Let's let's do this 105 degrees and see what we see what we can come up with for that. Create some more space here. So this is going to be degrees to radians, but this time we want exact values, exact values in terms of pi. If we have 105 degrees, you can just do exactly the same thing as we did before. We multiplied by pi over 180. Only, you actually can write it right away. You can just say 105 pi over 180. That's an exact pi fraction itself. It's not in lowest terms, but we can write it in lowest terms. But this is it, right? You can just put however many degrees you have, your exact pi fraction is going to be that pi over 180. All right, so if you want to reduce that to lowest terms, you can think about that in your head. 105 over 180, if you divided it by 15, I think is the 
greatest common factor there. If you divide that by 15, you get 7. And if you divide the bottom by 15, you get 12. If you're not sure about that, you can always resort to your calculator, right? If you want to know what that is in lowest terms, don't put in 105 pi over 180 because it's not going to be able to convert pi. Pi is an irrational number, which means it's not going to be able to write it as a fraction. So just leave that out, right? Leave that pi out. And then on this particular calculator, and on most calculators, there's a feature that changes it into a fraction. It'll turn that into a fraction like that, 7 twelfths, right? So if the two, the two number values, right, if these two number values here reduce to 7 twelfths, you know that that whole fraction is equal to 7 pi over 12, right? Easy, piece of cake. If you want to go the other way, Oops. You want to go the other way, and we will make a bit of space here. You want to go the other way, which was radians to degrees. Radians to degrees. But uh, I guess I could have written... If you have an exact pi fraction here, a pi-related value, it's no different, right? So let's say we have, let's make one up here. 5 pi over 12. Okay, so let's say we don't know what that one is in, in degrees, and we want to know here. We can do what we did before, which was, if this is radians, you want to get rid of radians, multiply where you have the radians on the bottom pi, and you have the degrees on the top, right? You're still just multiplying by 180 over pi. But now, since since this is written as an exact fraction, you can easily cancel that. And in this particular case, you can reduce some of these numbers. Now, if, you know, this 180 and this 12 here, like before, that reduce, that divides to 15, right? So if you if you were to work that out, you just do 5 times 180 divided by 12. And I believe you're going to get 75 for that. Right? You've got your degrees up there, and that's where that comes from. Again, if you're not sure, just work it out on the calculator. Right? I mean, you can, you can put in there 5 by over 12 and then multiply that by 180 over pi. If you know the pi's are going to count, so you can just leave them out, of course. Gives you 75, 75 degrees. All right? So it's no different here. No different. This is multiply by, multiply by 180 degrees by radians, whereas the other way, multiply by, by radians, 180 degrees, okay, simple as that. A lot of them, a lot of the common angles, you're just going to kind of learn and know and not have to think about it, but this, uh, this gives you uh, another option that works with any angle, right? If this is what you happen to know, think of what fraction of 180 it is, right? 105 out of 180 is 7 twelfths. 105 is 7 twelfths of 180. Some of the more common ones, right, like 30 degrees, you're just going to know that that's pi over 6. But you can think, what fraction of 180 is it, right? 30 out of 180 is 1 6, so that's pi over 6. It's all you're doing, right? You can use it with any, any any other angles that aren't so common, right? Even if it's some crazy number. If you have 157 degrees, well, that's going to be 157 pi over 180, right? And if it reduces, it reduces. If it doesn't, it doesn't. All right? That's it. That's converting between angles.